This morning, there's a dramatic twist in a story that 48 Hours Mystery has been covering for the past two years. A California jury convicted former NFL linebacker Eric Naposki last July for a murder he says he did not commit. Well, recently, Naposki asked Troy Roberts to visit him in prison, saying he is now ready to reveal the identity of the real killer. I am exposing myself. I'm exposing my family. I am exposing my children to harm. There's a murderer walking on the street. Eric Naposki's story and ours begins nearly 20 years ago in one of the wealthiest enclaves of America. Newport Beach has it all. Orange Newport County prosecutor God's Matt Murphy. Beautiful homes. There's a lot of money in Newport. And Bill McLaughlin, a very wealthy businessman, enjoy the privileges. He had a boat. He had a private plane. He had a beautiful bayside home. He had two beautiful daughters and a, a handsome young son. He had a nice lifestyle. McLaughlin was a divorced father of three when he got involved with this woman, the much younger Nanette Johnston. His daughters were horrified. I said, Dad, I don't really like her. I think she's with you for your money. She knew how much she was worth. Yes, definitely. In spite of the warnings, after about a year of dating, McLaughlin proposed. And she told everyone she was his fiance. She had a whopper of a ring. He even wrote her into his will. And then, right before Christmas... December 15th, 1994, Bill McLaughlin came home from Las Vegas, went into the kitchen for some reason, and unbeknownst to him, he was about to die. The killer shot him six times and then fled. Detective Tom Voff remembers Bill McLaughlin's then fiance Nanette Johnston, had an alibi. Did her alibi check out? No, not completely. Turns out Nanette had a secret. A big one. Eric Naposki, Eric Naposki, a professional football player who thought Nanette was his girlfriend. You can only imagine it was such a shock to all of us. Police believed Eric and Nanette plotted to kill McLaughlin for his money, but it would take 15 years for prosecutors to have enough evidence to charge them with murder. In two separate trials, Eric and Nanette were both convicted, and that's where we thought the story would end. But it didn't. Eric Naposki says he's finally ready to tell the truth about what really happened and who was truly responsible for the murder of Bill McLaughlin. I might wear handcuffs and I might be locked up, but I'm no criminal. There's a person out there who actually committed a crime. And today, I'm going to tell the world who really did it. And I'm going to prove my innocence. Sold. I've set my DVR because <laughs> I'm not going to be home when you're coming on tonight. So I set my DVR before I left home. But this is what I don't get, Troy. If you know who committed it, why would you spend a day in prison to protect someone else? I, I asked him that same question, Gail. I said, if I knew the, who yes. the real killer was, I'd be screaming it from the mountaintops. Right. He said no one would believe him until he had the evidence to prove his claims. And he did not get that evidence until Nanette's trial. And after she was convicted, he had all these thousands of pieces of discovery available to him. And he was able to piece together his case. He, he presented us with um, bank transfer statements from Nanette to this alleged hitman in the weeks leading up to the murder, as well as phone calls between the two of them. He had the phone records. He didn't have any of this until her trial. So you're saying he was able to gather the case while he's behind bars. Right. Did you believe him? Whatever, whatever it is, did you believe him? You know what, he's, I've visited him three times. I've been there three times. And uh, he's a complicated guy. He's straight out of central casting with the shaved head of the yeah. hulking presence. He's 6'3", 250 pounds. But there's a soft quality about him. And, and all of a sudden, like a naivete. And he makes a very persuasive argument. You know what, last week I was in Los Angeles working on another story where a man was wrongfully convicted of murder and he spent 27 years in prison. And I interviewed him when he was released. So those kinds of mm -hmm. cases are always in the back of my mind, mm -hmm. you know? So what does he plan to do, though, now with all this information? Yeah. Well, his yeah. defense team is investigating. The Orange County Police Department are investigating his claims. Uh, his sentencing has been delayed while everyone's looking into this. Okay. But his defense team is considering uh, actually filing a motion to vacate this conviction mm -hmm. or a new trial. Well, quick question for you, too. So the woman was the fiancé at yes. the time. Yeah. So what is the benefit to killing this man. I mean, how would she have been able to get any money if they weren't married yet? She was written into his will. So she was already in right. the will. She stood to make millions of dollars. And and this person who who Naposky now says is the real killer. Who you is are going to reveal that information, right? <laughs> who is it, Troy? It's an aspiring uh, Hollywood producer who was a business acquaintance. 
And Eric says that this guy had connections. And for $50,000, he killed Bill McLaughlin. All right. Yeah. And to oh. find out who it is, we have to watch yeah. your full report. Please. <laughs> I, I, you, tease, you tease Troy Roberts. <laughs>